So I have so much in my head. Uh, I'm here because generally I've been attracted to very feminine women, but when things get rolling, on a side note, I'm very masculine in my career, in my work and all of that, but mm -hmm. when things get rolling with a feminine woman, my therapy issues show up and I really get into my feminine. You're the and only one really that happens to, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to get out of the workshop in terms of questions. There's two. One, when we say feeling, is that a physical thing or is there a difference between feeling and intuition? And two, yeah. so the women are the ocean, their variety, and they change. How does this relate to personality? Like, <laughs> on the men's side, then, are we, if, if we only a dude can ask this question. <laughs> We all reach consciousness, right. then are we just cu cookie cutters, no. quiet dudes sitting? It's like, yeah. like, if you reach your highest level, we're all the same. No. So, so okay. So, so, no. I love it, man. I already love yeah. you. All right. So, where, where the mo we all have to move, right? <clears throat> However, what your value as a masculine sexual partner will be in the, in the freedom of your consciousness as expressed through your body. Fair to say, ladies? The, the freedom, freedom of your consciousness. of your consciousness expressed through your body. So if your consciousness, as you started, is thinking, 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 how free is it? Stuck in there. It's stuck in there, yeah, exactly, which is where most guys are, right? Women too, right? Where we live in our heads. You, where we get paid for being in our heads, right? But your consciousness is not felt as free if it's bound by thought or trapped in thought. Mm -hmm. So the answers that you seek, my friend, are going to happen through the body as you relax from the mind. When you were staring into your partner's eyes and you could feel, I said, take your heart and root it down into your groin. Were you thinking a lot then? Yeah, you were probably, you were, you were connected to, the reason why I did that practice is because it takes us from our head, into our heart, down to our groin, down to the earth. Right? That's kind of where we want to bring it all down. And your, just the habit of the way that you occur in the world is, is high energy, but it's coming up. Does that make sense? So if you just said the same thing you said, but you said it at one quarter the speed, all the women would get wet <laughs> because they would feel more of you coming through right? and the depth of your question coming through. Does that make sense? Yes. That's the yoga. Nothing, no value, nothing about the content of what you're saying or your desires or who you are as a man or anything like that. It's just that the yoga, if you slow it down, it's easier for them to feel and it relaxes their nervous system. My guess, is, so if you're with a highly feminine being and you're moving that fast, it will be like a nuclear reactor of energy. Do you get what I'm saying? Absolutely. So yeah, you get it, right? You guys get it too, right? So, it's, it's, so if you have, some, you have both partners moving at a really high speed, they're both highly in the feminine, we'll call it, Whereas one moves slower, slows down, deepens, grounds, it, it tends to create this kind of energy. It, it becomes a caressing of their nervous system, which is much more sexually valuable. The other yeah. thing that happens is if, you, if there's a woman who, I mean, it could happen unconsciously also, but so I'll, I have this experience a lot, is that if, if there's a man moving really fast around me, I get slower and slower because I want something to be slow in the space because it's so, un, it's like um, it's like raw. It's like something raw on my skin to have it be all be fast in the space, and so it will demand that the person or the people around you start to hold that pole. If you don't create some sort of consciousness and conscious choice around your capacity to bring stillness rather than habitual speed and movement. Then your movements from stillness, like take the crying, that you know, like a man, a man who's still, but is but heartbroken, is that attractive? Mm -hmm. like, but he's still and he's got structure. 
it's very sexy for the feminine to feel that much, right? So he's feeling everything, but it's slow and it's still, and yet there's a lot going on, right? So a lot to work with there. Mm -hmm. It's totally, you know, my first year doing this work, I, I, you know, my speech dropped, my, my, my voice dropped a couple of octaves because I started breathing into my belly more, right? And I opened that up, I opened up my diaphragm, and, but I also had to learn to speak slowly. Because if I didn't, nobody would trust me. But then I can, you know, I can let it fly when I need to. But ultimately, if I'm wanting the room to feel my depth, I can't be speaking really fast and I can't be talking like this, like, you guys know what I'm saying? I can't, you wouldn't trust me. Does that get at some of your question, my friend? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I have a lot more questions, but I'm looking forward to the exercises for the yeah. physical side. Yeah, and, and, and let me just, let me give you one little piece here. Don't tr just uh, trust that your body's going to accept what it needs to accept mm -hmm. and it's gonna learn. Mm -hmm. I can feel the part of you, which I recognize, because I had it too, mm -hmm. that wants to f f nail it. I gotta learn as much as I can so I can fucking step out that door and nail it. Absolutely. That's that. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that if you, that actually will be an impediment to yes. your learning. Yes. Because you'll be thinking, you'll be asking questions from the fear of I'm not going to get it. Yeah. Or and it's all, they also and this this happens in feminine and masculine practitioners, but asking questions from the future rather than having an experience mm. of the present which I promise if you really have that experience of the present, it simply will carry with you out the door. Uh -huh.